Hey there, this is my dip update number two. Because it's been about a week since the last one. Like six, seven days, whatever. Uh, I wanted to kind of show off an app that I've been using that's really cool. It's called Runkeeper, I believe. Yeah, Runkeeper, all one word. I only know of it being on iOS because that's what I've got. Um, here, I'm going to screenshot. I'm going to put it up on the screen. So on the picture, you can see that it has my past activities. I've got my very first week one that is a, a quarter mile. And then I've got two that are 2.06 miles, which is the exact length of the track that I was going from my front door around where I go and back to my front door. But the one on the very top is the latest one, which is today. And I had started it earlier or started it later than normal, that's why it's 0 .04 mile of a mile off, and yeah. The time isn't technically improved because I didn't go that 0 .04 or the time would have been higher, but I, it's still, it's good. I'm able to, okay, <laughs> sorry, with this app, you are able to set up a playlist and have it turn on a playlist when you start it. So it'll just shuffle through your playlist and it'll keep repeating through the playlist for you. You don't have to worry about anything, you can just plug in your headphones or maybe you just put it on a speaker like I had today. Not, I mean, just not to have to worry about the speakers, uh, the, uh, sorry, the headphones. Um, it's, it's really helpful. I like it. It tells you every five minute interval um, the time, so it'll be 5, 10, 15, whatever, up and up. And at that time it'll also tell you your distance that you've gone, your average uh, mile time that you are getting or are expected to get. So it's all around really cool and then it's, it's tracking all of my progress which I've also been putting up on Instagram just because I like to post it. I like for other people to you know get motivated by this if they do. Either way. I like doing it because this is gonna help me in the long run. I think this is like the first time I've I've done some type of video outside, and it's like pretty hot. I I should be going like this actually. It's much better, <laughs> except for I have like darkness for my eyes. It is a really nice day. Like the sun is destroying me with its heat. Uh, there's like a single cloud over there. <laughs> well, I'm now happy to report. Also, another thing that'll help me get through waiting, <laughs> I bought on iTunes uh, Season 7 Part 2 of Doctor Who, and I've already watched like three episodes, but I'm, I'm just binge watching it on my day off, which is today, so I, I really don't have any obligations, uh, but tomorrow I know I have to go for PT, and hopefully I'm still taking my sister, she showed an interest in going, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to take her, I think someone else did last time, so that'll be cool, and... What else? I'm going to have my first death call or commander call or one of them where all people in my recruiter's death program will be there. And that is my, uh, oh, reflecting back at me. I'll be able to meet everyone for the first time because I'm expecting tomorrow when I go, I'm going to at least see one new person because we're, we're all required to go to at least one of the PTs. So hopefully I'll meet someone new. That'd be cool. Uh, and then when I have to go to the uh, huge death call, I'll meet everyone. And that'll be pretty awesome. I'm not sure exactly how the job offers call. I mean, yeah, <laughs> job offers are called or how they come about. I guess it's just completely random. They don't even know until someone gives a word. It's just like, all right, I'll call my deputies up. But I'm expecting at any time just to be offered something because at first I was being offered something about um, the air traffic control and I haven't heard any other word on that but I wasn't really showing an interest for that at all. I did forget to mention that the Runkeeper app is free so that's pretty awesome and I happen to already have a what's it called sleep sleep cycle yeah, Sleep Cycle, which is like 99 cents or $1.99, one of those two. It just tracks my um, sleep, like sleep quality and everything, and it exports the data. Or no, it exports Runkeeper data into Sleep Cycle, so it'll show me how my 
exercise is affecting my sleep quality. Just kind of cool. It's got a couple exporting like in data uh, options. But I am going to actually go to sleep now because I didn't go to sleep last night. I have been up since what? Like 4.30 p.m. yesterday when I woke up to go to work until like I'm still awake and it's 12.50 p.m. the next day. Wow. I'm going on uh, 24 hours. Wow. I'm not I'm not making it for 24 hours unless I'm continuing to watch uh, or binge watch my Doctor Who. Because <laughs> I get thoroughly invested. I cannot fall asleep during an episode. I think it's impossible. But I'm going to go. Uh, please leave a like if you like this. Uh, seven things. <laughs> leave a like if you like this type of uh, uh, update thing. I'm going to be trying to do this maybe every week because, I don't know, a lot can happen in a week. And like I said in the last video, it's better to update frequently and just, I don't know, just make it like a routine instead of literally going dormant and kind of forgetting you have a channel and be like, oh yeah, I should probably make a video. I prefer not to do that second option. And... Subscribe as always. I'm gonna keep saying that because I'm gonna document everything. If if you'd like to follow my journey, then please subscribe. Otherwise, I I mean it's your choice. But it's a good choice. You can check out my other videos. I've got my MEPS video, ASVAB, other depth things. A lot of bees around me. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Thing, this is blinding me right now, but it's good light and it's nighttime, and you can probably hear it raining. Probably. So, 